Uh, hello everybody, welcome to a um, quick, I don't want to call this review, but a quick look at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is um, first impressions and mostly opinions, so, uh, you know, I don't have a lot of hard facts for you, but uh, if you uh, want to know a little bit about this game and how this, this year's Call of Duty plays out, or um, how... Uh, this is for the multiplayer strictly, but how the multiplayer's uh, created a class and stuff looks. This is what I generally try and do for these games. Uh, but this year, I, uh, I'm on it a lot sooner. It normally takes me a day or two to get into it. But uh, so this year, uh, I want to talk about the slight differences to the builds and score streak kind of things. Uh, it looks like this year you don't have to actually unlock these. Like... I just got this one a couple levels ago and it was just unlocked so I think you can use your um, prestige permanent unlocks to unlock stuff like the care package which I think this this year is actually way farther down the list at level 51 I think that's um, that's just that's a lot farther down it's normally like level 13 or something and I was talking about this I was streaming this uh, you know while I was trying to figure out what's changed Let me get a drink there. Um, I was uh, checking this out, and uh, yeah, there's a few things that are you know different levels, which yeah, you know that happens every game. Things change. You know, sometimes care package unlocks at level 20 or 13 or whatever. This time 51. It's pretty high. Uh, as uh, I don't know, like the RC. Oh, that's not the RC car. I thought that was. Looks like it is a. That's a robot. That's a um, anti-personal weapon of heavy armaments. I don't know. You know the word, the wording and stuff doesn't mean much. Shock sentry, so it's a lightning sentry this time around. That's uh, one of the airships. That's the uh, bombing run or whatever it's called, or the uh, lightning strike from other games. Uh, that's the companion drone that follows you around. Covers your back, I guess. Protects your six, it says. Maybe... Yeah, that's Lightning Strike, and that's the other one. What's it called? <laughs> From other games. Um, the other missiles. But, uh, so it seems like they'll just unlock as you get to the level, so you don't have to use, um, points or anything as far as I can tell at this point. Um, and you know this is this could change, but this is right now at launch how the game is. Um, weapons, we'll go into those for a second, and uh, uh, we'll look at the rigs first. Rigs first. Uh, rigs. So rigs this time is kind of like the exosuit that your guy wears. Uh, a lot of people seem to be using this one just because it looks more like a robot. Uh, there's a couple that I have not seen yet because I don't I haven't seen anyone that's really over level 13 or so so I haven't seen these two this one looks like a uh, predator uh, but uh, yeah so these each come with a couple different things they have a couple different weapons and you get to choose from them I'm not sure how much they level up or if they are like I guess that unlocks at player level that one unlocked just a little bit ago. Uh, this one, like a ping. Uh, this one that makes your uh, score streaks persist, but you only get to use them once in a game. That's craziness. So I guess you could earn the really high score streaks with that uh, if you wanted to. Um, yeah, this one has like. Uh, this is kind of like the laser from Advanced Warfare. This is like, uh, I don't know, it's weird because it doesn't really, it doesn't look, it looks like a shield, but <laughs> it doesn't work like a shield. Like, I thought, okay, I'm going to run at them and, you know, uh, not be able to be hit, but I get killed like every single time. I've used it pretty much, so. <laughs> uh, it, it's a slow run at them and then anything that you run into gets dead. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, 
start with maximum ammo capacity and no longer slow default movement. I don't know what that uh, means. Do you, do you go slower because you have more ammo? Like, do you get faster when you're out of ammo? I don't understand. Regenerate health faster, that's what I've been using. Let's take a little bit of bolt fire and then go, go sit back. So this is kind of the tank rig and then uh, this is... I don't know. Close quarters combat rig. Machine guns with built-in suppressors for close quarters combat. Remind your position, replenish your health and ammunition. I haven't seen too many people use that yet, so I don't know. Switch to rapid melee combat. What is this one? After each kill, gain a brief boost of movement speed. Okay, that's cool. Proof thrusters allowing energy to recover faster and allows damage. Enemy players below. What? Below what? Oh, so you jump... Wait, what? You damage people that are below you when you jump, I guess? I don't know. Exit you quick move in a direction by pressing the shift button. So that makes you dash. Uh, okay. Uh, but yeah, so each of those have a different thing. I've been using this one, so I have a little bit of the things, like the default that it will look like like that helmet and that body uh, as you do a couple things this one was um, yeah, regenerate to full health 25 times while using the infusion trait which was super easy to get and that is use it 50 times this one kill it three enemies with a single bolt charge active 10 times I haven't done that yet three enemies with the bolt charge five times Absorb 4,000 damage with reactive armor. Get 25 ground slams while using the shockwave trait. Absorb 2,000 damage. So yeah, these are like basically mini... Like like your weapon achievements for uh, red dots and, and stuff. They're much like that in the past. Uh, but they, uh, they seem to be fairly easy because I got this one without even trying. And then... Um, Mission teams and stuff, I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, quartermasters, if you get something out of a chest, like the uh, like the loot crates from Black Ops 3, then uh, they'll be in this, and uh, you'll get red dots and stuff like that too, and gun camos and gun variants. Now let's look at, uh, there's gestures, you know, thumbs down, or I haven't got any other ones, thumbs up. But uh, I got one of those out of a thing, got a couple of taunts. You know, and you can preview them. Stiffen. I can't preview any of the ones that I don't have, I don't think, so... Sorry, we don't get to see more of those. But, uh, yeah, those are... Those are kind of back the same as they were in Black Ops 3. Jesters and... Uh, taunts that you get to do at the end of the game if you're in the top three. Uh, so that's... I don't know, it's alright. It's not, not anything too special or, or terrible. Um, did I get any other... So I got that helmet. I haven't done any of the quest helmets. That one's from a chest. Did I get a body from the thing? No. Alright, so the missions... When I go back, you can see... One more thing back. Uh, so you get these active missions, and you get like earn a thousand points during a game, or earn one kill using a payload. Now the one kill using a payload, payload being your like your laser or the bull shield or whatever, uh, it'll say earn one, and then once you get that, it'll say now get two or five, and you get two or five or whatever, and then it'll be like, so that's like a bronze metal and then there's silver metal and then uh, it, it'll be like at 15 with this thing during a game so during a single game uh, and then earning those gives you some kind of points towards these keys or these um, these cogwheel things cogwheels are used for making kind of a weird crafting system in the armory 
and uh, yeah, you can kind of, you can, so each gun has some kind of, uh, this is like back from Advanced Warfare, the uh, style of uh, having uh, like double kills, instantly reload your magazine, stockpile, increase ammo. This gambler is three players, kill streaks, earns a random perk. Uh, three max expires upon death, sharpshooter increases damage range. So there's there's different variants. And uh, so some of them I got this one out of a chest. I don't know about that one. Probably out of a chest as well. Uh, and then you can purchase them. Maybe, maybe I got this one out of a chest and it automatically gave me that one. I'm not sure. Uh, but... After you have a different variant, you'll you'll see in a second. I'll show you how uh, you end up picking those. You can pick a weapon that goes into your loadout before you add any of the attachments and stuff to it. And then you can spend your cogwheel points into like gain one random attachment when you spawn. That's kind of cool, unless you get some attachment that sucks. I don't know. I don't know if there's any attachments that suck on that gun, but uh, I feel like you could end up getting a weird attachment. And it's like what? What is this? Uh, reload faster when mag is empty. Stacks with dexterity. Dexterity is the uh, like reload while sprinting thing, I think. Reload faster. So, uh, yeah, they have those for different guns. I don't see any more submachine guns. It seems like these two just have them. Maybe I just don't have the other ones available yet. Uh, okay, so, so that's kind of the uh, weird crafting thing. Um... There's some things that it seems like you unlock from doing those uh, mission things. And I I haven't quite figured out how those work yet. Like, I got level 5 in in the one guy's team. I haven't seen the other two, three teams. So I have no idea when those happen. Like, do I have to finish this before these ones happen? Or prestige? Or do I have to pick a thing at some point? I don't know. Hasn't happened yet. But it uh, goes towards getting some kind of uh, thing on your weapons. And I don't know what the crap this one is yet. I guess these are just variants you can get out of a chest when you when you buy the chest. Uh, go back to the, uh, the chest thing. Uh, so you can buy chests for like 10 keys for the commons, and then 30 keys. This is just like in Black Ops 3. Um, with the cryptic keys, so this is like the cryptic keys a lot, uh, where you're gonna get one one rare or better, and those and uh, commons with a slight chance for those in that. Okay, so that's maybe jumping around a bit, but you know I'm trying to give you the full on look on how this works. Now we're back to the class. Let's look at the pick a class. It is a ten point. You know how many things can you put into a a thing at 10 points in a class for 10 points. Uh, you pick a weapon. Uh, firstly, you're gonna have different options, and you know, the variants come in like this, uh, or the rarities, whatever they are. So, stability, or like this one has kills, hide nearby friendlies from enemy radar, increased damage range, stacks with that perk. Driving on this one. Mm, we have one stockpile, increase ammo, stacks with extended mags. I don't have any on that one. Let's look at something else. This one's got one. Sharp should increase damage range. Are you getting for this one? No, no. Uh, I've got some for this one. So we've got headhunter kills, headshots kills, instantly refill your magazine. Cool. You get a headshot, you get free refill. Uh, three player kill streaks earn a random perk. Three max expires upon. So that's um, that's cool. You get extra perks after you get kills. One kills the better. Makes you really good. Uh, increased damage range stacks up with uh, particle amp. I don't know. But so yeah, you get a couple different things for each of these that I've seen. Uh, and I'm not sure how hard it's going to be to get the best variants or how many like chests you're going to have to get to get these. But so this I believe was my thing. If 
I don't pick a perk, then I get a gun with no perk. So I can pick that, confirm rarity. So now I actually get that. The scrambler and the sharpshooter thing on that. And I can pick, you know, reflex that goes towards my, my pick 10. I can pick this dot. Because I've unlocked it. Or I can pick ones that come from the quartermaster from doing a certain thing. Or... Is the quartermaster the uh, boxes? I think this is from the boxes, and then uh, these ones are from doing the um, mission things. I guess I don't know what they are. And these ones are from like DLC extra stuff from DLC. So we're gonna go with that. Then you have like four grip quick draw. Your other, the other stuff that you'll have to level your weapon for. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of. This, I think, so I can put that on there. So I'm only just starting to level, so I haven't got everything quite to where I want my glasses. But so you can see, you know, extra things take an extra, extra part of the pick 10. Um, they actually made it so you can automatically have overkill if you want to have a primary weapon in your secondary for sniping and like a submachine gun. Uh, it does take a slot, so you see the little dashes underneath. This, uh, this pick 10 system is a little bit different, and I'm going to take these two off real quick. So you can see if I pick a tactical, you know, I pick a personal radar, jammer, grenade. Um, it takes one, but if I want to take another one, it's going to take two. So I'd have to get rid of something else to get... That actually takes up two slots on its own. So, uh, second tactical, so to have two tacticals is actually three... It's like using a wild card to get another tactical in this game, which uh, happens to be fine with me. Seeker grenade is kind of like a crab thing that seeks some plasma grenades, or kind of like an incendiary grenade. Exploding drone. I haven't figured out how to use that thing yet. Near a cluster grenade. Trip mines. I don't know what that is. Uh, sticky plastic payload. Rocket propelled. I don't know what that means. Fletch grenade splits into multiple propelled grenades on impact. It's a weird, weird thing. Alright, go back down. Black hole. Singularity and pulls enemies with crushing force. Okay, and C4. Bio spike. Detonates. I don't know. So I don't know what most of those are yet. Haven't seen them. Can't really comment on those yet. I've been uh, using the plasma grenade with a little bit of success. And the seeker grenade, kind of, you throw it in a room and it kind of picks a target. It doesn't go like... You can't just throw it at spawn and it won't just go and seek someone. It will stay in a small small room area and seek someone out there. But moving on. Uh, so your perks are, you know, first, second, and third... And uh, a lot of the ones that you're used to are going to be back, like Ghost, Overclock, um, which Overclock is like it's your, your your ultimate kind of thing, faster, your payload faster. Oh, Blast Shield reduces damage from explosives. Blind Eye, you know, reduce your uh, visibility by AI tracking stuff. Mini maps bigger. Reload and switch weapons faster. I'm not sure what the bonuses are for hardline. I haven't figured that out. Gain okay, bonus points for each kill up to eight kills per life. I don't know what that means. I guess that's towards your score streaks. Kill streaks. I guess. Yeah. Um, tech resist, resistance of shocks and, and uh, those kind of grenades. Move faster over time, jumping aside and while running resets your momentum. So if you are just running, you will run faster until you jump or slide or something. Tracker. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. See recent enemy trails. Even when they are cloaked, so you can see their footsteps probably like in Black Ops 3, Cold Blooded. It's always one of my favorites because uh, <laughs> it screws with people with thermals. 
It counters thermal sights, perception, personal radar. So personal radar won't pick you up, which is one of the, um, the tacticals. Personal radar kind of gives them an indication on where there is someone. It gives you a weird circle in front of your, your gun that shows you there's someone up on the left or someone on the right or someone behind you. I don't know, maybe not behind you. I think it's just kind of your half moon in front of you. That's one of the things. Uh, so if you wanted to take, you don't need to actually like equip a wild card thing like in Black Ops 3. If you just want to, it, it just takes two points. So if I need a second thing here, now it's part of my pick 10. I haven't unlocked this one yet because I'm at level 19, which I used to be like level 13, so that kind of sucks it's a higher level. Gung-ho, shoot, use equipment, score streaks while sprinting. That's normally what I use. Ally enemies while dealing or taking weapon damage, so that's going to be kind of a map indicator thing. Uh, immune to EMP effects, blocks equipment or abilities that outline you for enemies. So kind of a radar, anti-radar thing. You can't be impeded and you can't be spotted out. Uh, I like that it gives you a lot of the counters like what, what what it counters and what, you know, it's good for. Uh, marksman acquire enemy names from a greater distance, reducing flinch that primarily affects sniper rifles but gives a very minor benefit to other weapons so at least it tells you that it's not super useful on every weapon but it is useful on snipers and if you were watching uh, anyone's stream with a sniper like I, I was like aiming here shoot the recoil aims the gun way up here and then you have to try and kind of get it back and it's oh my gosh the kick is ridiculous so with that I hope it I hope it lessens it a lot uh, engineer this is like your your care package reroll and and sea trip mines and stuff, right? Detect enemy. Equipment score streaks through walls, delays activation of enemy mines, plant the bomb silently in bomb objective game modes. Yeah, so that's pretty much the same as it's been. Dead Silence footsteps and jump packs are silent. The counter is tracker, so they will be able to see you better if they have the tracker from the other. So this one? No. This one. So if they have that. So uh, yeah, if you wanted to run a whole bunch of of these, I think you'd have to play without any lethals, any secondaries, and no equipment to play with all three. That's that's about how it's been in in every game. I think it still adds up to the same pick ten. Uh, you know, it's going to be preference on what you actually like, and. Uh, you know, I think that's fine. Then you have, on top of all that, you have camouflage stuff. You have accessories, which I haven't quite figured out how you get, like, dog tags or demon skull. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of these are. And it doesn't actually show you. Uh, Camelite sandwich. Cobra. Burger town. I got a bear trap. I don't know. It was out of a, a care package or a box thing that I had to open. I don't know what it does. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't give me any tooltip or what it's about, but I'm guessing it's dangling off my gun somewhere slightly visible. I don't know. I don't get it. Prestige is going to be like show your uh, your clan tag or whatever, and I don't have any of that yet. I actually haven't seen any place to set a clan tag, so I don't know where that's at. Camouflages. Um, a lot of them are like get 50 kills with this weapon. You know, some of them are going to be the one-shot kills, and some of them are going to be the headshots. And then, yeah, it looks like you're going to unlock to a certain level, 200 kills, and then have to do the certain objectives with them, or get them out of out of a chest. I haven't got any for that yet. Or uh, doing the, the like the Wolverine missions. I got this for getting 15 kills. Like the, it was like five, get five kills, get ten kills, and then the gold medal was get fifteen in a game with the assault rifle, and I got that. So I don't know if I got that. I think I got that for all of the assault rifles. It seems like I did. Yeah. So all the assault rifles. So there's not a lot of those, but uh, after you get whatever they are, I think the um, 
The other gun I did it on was one of these. No, I don't think I did it yet. I think I got close. Uh, I think I got like 14. It was like get hit fires with that gun. I think I got 14 or 15. Uh, maybe it wasn't this gun though. Maybe it was this one. Camo thing. 50 kills with this weapon. Nah, I didn't get it yet. Just kidding. But uh, that's kind of how it works. The camouflage is in this one, and uh, yeah. Let's go to another class. I totally messed that one up, but um, let's go to one. This one has a uh, secondary. Let's go with it. Secondary. I actually got a rarity on this one. Missed bullets can return to your ammo stock. Increases damage range. Stacks with particle amp. Cool. So it kind of seems to add a camo to it. I don't know if that's true in game or not. Well, I think I got one. Yeah, I got one thing out of the chest for that one. I haven't really shot it, so I haven't got anything else, but I'm gonna put the bear trap on that, you can actually see it on this one. Um, so it's attached somewhere, but yeah, so that's how that looks on well, the secondary you get to pick, you know, your same part of your pick 10 uh, Now if I wanted to change this I could actually do overkill and then now I can pick a second SMG or assault rifle something other other than that Oops, I'm gonna take that back off and pick my pistol again so you could pick your launchers Melee weapon when you get to whatever, 37, it's pretty high. Classic Hornet, I don't know what that is. Different kind of handgun, cool. Whoops, I didn't pick a variant. So it's, I think it's going to be a little bit harder to, to make a class because you got to pick a variant and then you got to pick a camo. It's just gonna, it's There's just a lot more things to pick. Kind of a hassle, like there's just not some, there's not a need for all this stuff, but okay, you know, I guess it's different. It's cool. It's what they wanted to do with the game. Uh, get something. Which clip holds more ammo. That's what I wanted on this one was laser sight, that's why I was trying to level it. Did I get a camo for this yet? No. Got a couple of these from getting the uh, pre order or something. This was the one that. That's right. The dots. I don't know. Blue dots. Plasma grenade. But yes, yeah, so that's that's basically how the uh, the classes look in this. You can rename them. You can copy them. That's pretty much. It's pretty much the same. I don't. I don't feel like it's that different from Black Ops Three or Advanced Warfare, other than you know you are getting, um, whatever this thing is, <laughs> you know, the different variants of a gun, and then adding other stuff. So you're getting kind of a weird perk on a gun. I don't know how that's gonna work uh, later in the game when you actually have. You know, people saying, this is the best one, use this one only, you know. Some of them are going to feel like preferences, or like the one that gives a uh, random... So this one... I don't have it yet. The one, the, the, it was like the purple one for this one that like gives a random... attachment or something. It's like, that's going to be cool, but I don't know. Uh, it does kind of give you like what you're going to unlock next, that's cool. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not much different than uh, other Call of Duties have been in the past, so I don't feel it's like too crazy. I don't feel like they changed much, but it, it it's all right. Now, that's as far as the uh, the builds and whatever goes. Then you also have um, emblems and stuff that unlock, and there's a bunch. And 
You can get some from the uh, the chests and stuff. And some from doing team thing, the teams things, and some from DLC. So there's a bunch of those. Calling cards too. You know, all your standard ones, and then all the ones for doing achievements are back. Different rig achievements. Uh, quartermaster ones are the ones from uh, from boxes. Eventually there'll be prestige ones, which I'm not there yet. Career milestones, so those are all going to be kind of, I think, uh, standard. Can't see any leaderboards yet. Prestige, permanent unlocks, class weapon unlocks. I don't know how those are going to work yet. We'll see after we prestige and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how that stuff works. So that's uh. That's good, I think, for the first first video on this, looking at that bit. And then uh, I'll have another video up that is going to be gameplay. Because this does not have any of the gameplay. This is literally just the, the creative class and quartermaster weird stuff. So I hope you guys have a good idea of how they've changed things in this game. And uh, whether or not you like it or not will we'll, we'll, uh, be uh, determined uh, very much by opinions. I think it's fine. I don't think anything changed too much. And... Uh, you know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to cut this video and then I'm going to work on the next one real quick, but uh, they'll be up pretty soon. So, thank you.